New tonight, video from the neighbor of a Needham home that went up in flames. The fire started with several explosions outside of the house in Brookside Road and then consumed the home. The fire chief tells us tonight that the house is a loss. It took crews from multiple communities to put out the flames. WBZ's Jim Smith reports from Needham when firefighter was hurt on the job. Well, the fire is finally out, but unfortunately, the damage has been done tonight. This home has been ravaged by smoke and fire. But fortunately, authorities say nobody was home when the flames broke out. Something was kind of popping, like a blowing up kind of way. The fire moved quickly. A Needham home going up in flames on a Saturday afternoon. The early moments of the blaze captured on video by neighbor Evan Sachs. The five alarm fire sent smoke and flames into the sky and spread into a nearby marsh. First, there was a side area of outside kind of storage area that was engulfed in flames, and pretty quickly it traveled through the whole structure after that. There's a marsh or a bog back there, and then that had started to catch fire and was very quickly spreading behind a number of these homes and really kind of threatening them. So there were some evacuations of additional homes. Catherine Chan was picking up her daughter from piano lessons on the same street as the fire was breaking out. I just heard the explosion and I saw the mush mushrooms, black smoke, just blew up in the sky, so I was panicked. Fire crews searched the entire house and it appears nobody was home. One firefighter did suffer a minor eye injury. Exploding containers of some type, possibly propane, solvents, or aerosols, added to the difficulty. Upon arrival, the deputy fire chief found uh, a lot of um, junk and trash on fire up against the house. The house is a loss at this point, uh, went through the roof, roofs collapsed. Unfortunately, not much left of this home tonight. The unanswered question is, how did this start? That is under investigation. In Needham, Jim Smith, WBZ News.